Hey guys, it's Anna with Anna Travels. Today is travel day. We are escaping the cold, which actually we're not. Apparently there's a huge cold front in the whole United States and it's coming with us to Florida. But we are heading, we decided to break our trip into two days. We're gonna do the first leg to my parents and then, you know, give them Christmas gifts. And then the next day we're going to, um, probably to Jacksonville, Florida and then oh, stay overnight and then head to um, Miami, Florida to my husband's family. And so yeah, so with the baby, we wanted just to break it up a little bit more. We originally were gonna fly, but it was gonna be like a thousand dollars for both of us to fly. And then we'd have to like board the dog. And so this way all of us can come. So uh, yes, so we need to hit the road because we are running behind. So my husband right now is turning off our water and letting the water drain out um, because we are supposed to be like pretty pretty cold uh, temperatures in Virginia. I thought I heard someone say negative five degrees, maybe maybe see your dogs here. So make this real short. Um, so we just hopefully if the power goes out um, and it gets super cold in the house, our pipes won't freeze. Um, hopefully neither that will happen and we'll just come home to a house that's just a little bit chillier than normal and uh, no, no frozen pipes. So, well, let's get going. So yesterday was really worth vlogging. It was pouring, absolutely pouring. And uh, so we got to our parents, my parents, around close to 11 o'clock. We had to make two or three, three, we had to make three stops. One stop just to relax and just take a break from the rain. The second one for the baby and uh, the dog. And then the third one, we had to feed the car. Uh, I had enough gas to get to my parents, but I was like, I found a gas station that was 268. And uh, I was like, and they were talking about how the weather temperature is gonna drop. So I figured just fuel up so that the car is full of gas. So we don't have to worry about it today. And uh, yeah, so we are planning to drive straight to Jacksonville, Florida, or St. Augustine area. Um, I put in Bucky's in St. Augustine. Uh, we'll see if we stop at Bucky's or if we just find a hotel to check in for a night. Um, we have no reservations, so <laughs> we'll just have to wing it and hopefully they are pet friendly. Come here. Mong Mong. Mong. Do 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 do. Hello. Old man. Such an old man. George. Are you 13 now? 12 or 13? So we're like driving through a back road in uh, South, are we in South yeah, Carolina. We're, yeah, we're South Carolina still. And we like. My husband's like, did you see that? And I didn't, because I wasn't paying attention because I was looking at the road. And uh, it's like a crazy UFO. Spaceship made of... <laughs> Spaceship <laughs> made out of scraps. Just looks like all sorts of scraps. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Things we find on our adventure. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was a pretty rough travel day. Um, I didn't video very much because it just was chaotic and um, it was going fine until we hit, um, we stopped somewhere in South Carolina um, and like someone was just in the changing room like so sometimes for these stalls they put like the baby changing station in the handicapped stall, which is okay. It's actually, it offers a little bit more privacy. Um, then, you know, mom can pee and then take care of baby, whatever. But it doesn't help when the person is like literally dying in the handicapped stall. And so finally I was like, I went to my husband. I was like, can you go check, make sure the men's have the changing? He did, he checked it. He also made sure it's clean. Cause that's like another thing. Sometimes these, these restrooms aren't clean and uh, he took the baby, went inside, and they had closed the bathroom for cleaning, and it was just like, oh my god. So, um, we just did parking lot change in the car, and that's fine. That's actually, 
I feel like that's usually the best way some days. Um, and then, uh, then after that, so we were at that gas station for an hour, mostly waiting for the, for the stall and also just take care of some stuff, gas, uh, needed to take care of some other things, you know, related to feeding the baby and stuff like that. Um, and then we got stuck for another hour just in traffic, like, just like the six mile of stretch of like, like the end of getting in from South Carolina and crossing into Georgia. It just, it's just because they have, South Carolina only has like two lanes for 95. And when there's a lot of traffic, it just, it gets crazy. So that's an extra two hours onto, you know, what was only supposed to be about five and a half, six hours. I think it was supposed to be a five and a half hour uh, trip. So it basically took us forever. And then we stopped. She got fussy close to dinner time. Like she just would not stop crying. So we finally like stopped after, after the South like finally we crossed over to Georgia I was like I'll just stop she's a little angry right now we're at the hotel but my husband's taking all the stuff in first and she just would not stop crying finally we pull over soon as I open the back door and I look at her she started smiling she just she just done with being in the car seat and she wanted to see you know mom and dad and so we we stopped and ate at Panera and she wasn't happy getting back into the car so we watched Mikey Chen on Stripply Dumpling and then Miss Rachel's channel, which Miss Rachel, she's a little perky, but she's been a lifesaver, so I'm not gonna diss Miss Rachel because we watched Miss Rachel for a bit, but uh, I think my husband is coming back, so we are gonna pack. I might do a separate room tour video, I'm not sure. I'm super tired, um, but I don't know, might do it. A lot of people like to see what options are when they're commuting but I need to go so we made it to the room I'm not gonna do a room tour uh, just because we really need to sleep but the room is quite nice got a king bed got pretty wide space it's a lot um, got a full and that full kitchen but like nice little kitchenette Especially since I have breast pumping supplies, it's nice to have some a sink to wash them all. And uh, so yeah, so this is just the peak of the room. Sorry about the lighting. Baby is almost to sleep, so I'm gonna log out and uh, so she can get to sleep. And so can I. Night, guys. There's like mass chaos in here. They have cookie dough. Mm. Hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to try So finally made it to Bucky's in Daytona Beach, um, and I'm finally trying the brisket for the first time. I have never tried the brisket, though I've been here a few times. Um, last year when we came through Florida, I could not handle the smell of barbecue in my pregnancy. So finally got it checked out. It was crazy in here, but like the lady that was helping my husband get new sunglasses said it was like far crazier yesterday. But I'm gonna eat, now we're gonna head to Miami, or. Yeah, pretty much Miami. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna eat real quick. I'll let you know how it is. It's really good. 
you want. I should have had another one. Hey guys, so I'm, I've been, I'm like shooting a couple of outros because I've been horrible at outros lately and I wanted to just finish up editing a few videos because I'm like, oh, I need to shoot, um, like conclusions and so the conclusion of this travel week, like travel days, is that our baby has a limit of about seven hours in the car seat. Now, we didn't, like, put her in the car seat for seven hours straight, but it seems like after seven hours, it's like you better, better ready to hear her tell you she's pissed, um, which is understandable. I mean, I hate long car drives, too, so I understand. Um, but, I mean, like, for, but really, like, we hit up Bucky's, and after Bucky's, it was like pretty much a really uncomplicated drive down. And then I was like, you know what? I really don't fucking want to vlog. Um, I've been so tired. And um, I just was like, you know what? I, I mean, I shot some videos, but, and like my father in law, he we were at uh, the Cuban restaurant, Bella Cuba, or or a different restaurant. I can't remember. And he asked me, because they know that I do, that I do this stuff. And, he was like, you shooting video for your, you know, vlogs? And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, you know, a few minutes later, I'm like, you know, I'm tired. I don't really want to piece anything together, you know, half ass. So I actually just didn't put any stress on myself for shooting any vlogs. Um, so I think this is probably the only one. Oh, well, there's another vlog. Sorry. Um, there's one other vlog uh, that I shot, but that one is also kind of relaxed and probably boring. Uh, but it would be great if you watched it. Um, so, yeah. So, I think that's it. Um, I mean, I, di I definitely didn't vlog the return trip except minus one room tour vlog. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Um... I, I love my in-laws, and I really like going down to Florida, especially that part of Florida. Um, I love all the Cuban food. I love, you know, like, it's just, it's just a different atmosphere, and I really do enjoy it. And we got to try Bella Cuba. Well, I tried it again for the second time, and my Cuban relatives uh, approved and uh, went to a, another ca cafe that was super cute. But anyways... Um, if you want to see more of, like, kind of, like, my travels, check out my Instagrams. I have two, well, I have four, actually. Um, Mitchell Dressage, horses, Kaiju Bites, food and personal life. Anna travels more of, like, vlog and also travel agency stuff. <coughs> and then Indy, the potato corgi, for the corgi-related content. So like and subscribe. Join me for future videos, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm glad you watched this boring vlog to the end.